UW-Madison's police department tested a new one-button alert system today that hopes to quickly share information, emergency information that is, to people on campus. New at 10, Grace Olch has you covered on the new system and why UWPD says they hope they never have to use it. It doesn't replace our whisk alerts whatsoever. This is like the panic button. UW-Madison police have been using whisk alerts as a way to get important information out to people on campus for more than 15 years. Wednesday, UWPD tested a new one-button alert system that will automatically send a generic, pre-written message indicating an active, deadly threat on campus. Seconds can save lives. Um, so if we have a way to press a button where instantaneously a message gets to our community to alert them that, hey, something's going on, assess your surroundings, more information will follow. Um, at least we can start there. Mark Levicott with UWPD says traditional whisk alerts aren't going anywhere and they'll still be the main way to inform people on campus of an emergency. But active shooter situations are happening more on college campuses and traditional whisk alerts require someone at UWPD to log into a computer and type a full message before getting the word out. This is like the panic button when when something really, really, really bad is happening and we need to within seconds tell our community Lovacott says UWPD hopes they never even have to use the new emergency alert system. But if a worst case scenario comes their way, they're prepared. My goal is I retire from this department and we never press that button, um, but we have it in case we need it. Lovacott says the one button alert will be saved specifically for active shooter events. He says as UWPD is able to fill out more information like certain parts of campus that should be avoided, the alert will be updated. In Madison, Gray Salch, 27 News. The alerts test happened this morning at 11. UWPD specifically waited for spring break to minimize disruptions. The one-button system will officially be adopted this fall.